really irritating to have to buy this, but since I'm a sloppy guy, that's the way it is. We got to put this on the camera. Let's try that. Was that better? The microphone I'm using now, it's the new Rode, uh, Rode Video Mic Go 2. And I just bought it. Haven't tried it before, so I really hope the audio is good. Does it sound good? So, um, packing because this weekend I'm going on a photo video trip together with other photo video interested people local photographer that is offering these trips to teach what he has learned up through the years and uh, even though he's a lot younger than me he knows a lot more than me so I thought this was something that I wanted to attend so now I have to pack my bags or bag because I don't want to bring too much I also have to charge up all the batteries so that's what I'm doing right now. Now, since everybody's into vlogging nowadays, I thought I might as well just film this. Normally, I probably wouldn't have. Here comes the dog. I saw this cool thing on TikTok where you just kiss your dog on the head and see what it does. Nothing. I'm going to bring my A7S III on this trip. I'm going to bring my Sony A7 IV. The question is, what kind of lenses do I need to bring on this trip? I am filming on the 17 to 28, and I thought I would do some, try and do some vlogging on the trip. So I need this lens for that. Then I recently got the. 70 to you can't see that can you no maybe yeah 70 to 180 tamron and i am going to bring that then i have my 85 1.8 we are going to shoot some portraits there are going to be a model so we can try out portrait photography or model photography so I'll probably 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 bring this lens on to that to do that I have my 90 millimeter macro lens this is a heavy lens I'm don't think I'm going to bring this don't think there's going to be a lot of macro photography so this stays at home then I have this the Sigma 24 to 70 f 2.8 now when I have my Tamron 17 to 28, then I have this, the 24 to 70, then I have this, the 70 to 180, I practically have the, the holy trinity of lenses. So I'm going to bring those and my 85, like I said, but my father-in-law, he has a Canon lens that I'm going to bring also. And that is the uh, Sigma 100 to 400. This has an aperture of 5 to 6.3, but it goes all the way from 100 to 400. So I'm able to go much further in before 
I need to crop on my camera, my Sony a7 IV. So I'm able to reach a lot more with this. The problem is, is this is a Canon lens. So naturally it has a Canon mount. We have this, this is the Sigma MC11 adapter that converts Canon EF, the old EF system from Canon over to Sony E-mount. So now with this adapter, I can mount this onto my Sony a7 IV. Since this is a Sigma lens and this is the Sigma adapter, I also get autofocus when it comes to video. So that's the lenses that I'm going to bring. Now, I have one problem with my Sigma 24 to 70 lens. And that's the same problem that I've seen a lot of other people have with this lens. We have the glass and inside you have another glass. And the problem with this lens is that dust gets into the glass underneath the outer glass. So you're not able to remove this dust without, what's the word? without dismantling this lens. That's probably not the right word, but I have to unscrew the outer layer or the outer glass to be able to remove the dust underneath. Now I know, or I have heard or read that you can ship this back to Sigma and they will do this for you. But the problem is that this lens will probably get dust underneath on later on. So have being able to do this on my own would probably be a better choice, even though the moment I take this lens apart, I probably any warranty would probably be lost. Now, there is th this lens is over one year old. So the warranty is probably gone anyway. And knowing me, I'm probably going to mess this up. Something is going to go wrong when I do this. But I feel like trying nonetheless. And by the way, the package that I got this, this is drum roll, a lens cap. Because some time ago when we were out shoot, oh, <laughs> some time ago when me and my daughter and my wife, we were up in the forest behind our house, I brought my 70 to 180. And I removed the lens cap put it down somewhere. And uh, when I went home, the landscape was not there anymore. The landscape that I'm using right now is the one that's supposed to be on this 17 to 28. But hopefully, this third party landscape is going to fit. So let's try. That fits perfectly. Now this is not necessary to do this, but this is a great soda. So if you're ever in Norway, try this. Now I've been on YouTube and seen some tutorials on how to do this. In this lens, there are some screws along the edge of this lens, as I've seen on tutorials. So what I need to do is I need to remove this. There are a lot of dust underneath this, this gloss and I need to, or I want to try and remove that. Hopefully I can, but <laughs> since it's me, trying to do stuff, something always goes bad, or at least things behave in a way that makes it more difficult than it has to be. And that's just me. Around the edges of this lens, there is this protection gasket or protection ring that has to be removed. Maybe this will work. 
Don't want to break the lens. Something's happening. I think we got it. Ah, there. Underneath this ring, there's some glue, and we should try and keep that on there so we can glue this back on. Under here there are different kind of screws. There's one, there's one, there's one, and there's one. This one's uh, white or silver, that's black, that's a silver one, and that's a black one. And I do believe they need to go back into the right places. So when I hopefully get these screws out of the way, to be able to know where to put them, I'm going to use this tape and mark where a black one is supposed to be. So we have a black one there. So let's try and see if we can make this. This is too big. Is this right? Maybe. Ooh, that's tight. Well, this one. Oh, that got loose quite quickly. One down, one, two, three, four, five to go. Oh, there it is. Two down. Three down. We're halfway there. I did manage to make a scratch into my glass there. Luckily it's on the edge of the lens. So hopefully it won't show up in any photos. I'll have to try that, see if it is ruined. So, the first thing we managed to mess up was that I got a scratch on the lens. Well, well. Why do they make them so hard to turn around? I have one left and I don't think that is going to... ...move. So I actually managed to do what I hoped I wouldn't do. So, yeah. That's me. I managed to scratch the lens and I managed to mess up the one last screw. So now I don't have anything to put this into. It won't turn around. Do not try this at home. Or if you do, it's up to you because you might damage your lens. I do believe this is a mission failed. And I am not able to remove the last screw. I have officially made a scratch into my lens. Hopefully that is not going to show when uh, I do my videos and uh, photos. Hopefully, since it is at the edge of the lens. We'll see. I'll have to put this lens back together now and uh, just use it as it is. It is what it is. Anyway. That's it for this video. If you're still here, thank you for watching. Maybe you want to hit subscribe, and uh, maybe I will see you in another video.